Good evening. So it is day 31 on the CDT and you can tell it's late. Um, it's a little after nine o'clock. Uh, we hiked out of Cuba today on our way to Chama and um, we, I think we hiked somewhere between 23 and 25 miles. I'm not sure the distance. I'll have to check it out, but it, it's somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, because this is a road walk, um, some of the local residents have actually been offering to help CDT hikers. So um, we were able to hike about 13 miles out of Cuba to a uh, mercantile store in a, a really small town. I think it's called Regina. And we were able to get some water and some snacks there. And um, after that, we hiked, um, I think, another 10 to 12 miles to a, a property um, where the owners had said, hey, CDT hikers, if you need a place to camp, you can camp here, like on this corner, and that's our property. Um, which is great because on the hike out, there has been fencing for most of uh, both the left and the right side of the road. And so New Mexico is known what is uh, is known as uh, was referred to as a um, fenced out state. I believe it's how it's called. And so basically, if somebody puts up a fence, and then on top of that they put a no trespassing no trespassing sign, then um, you can't go on their property. So when you're hiking a road that has a fence on both sides and it's not marked as public lands, meaning like Bureau of Land Management or whatever, um, and a lot of it's marked as private property, don't trespass, that leaves uh, very little opportunity for us to camp. So the road's also way too small for us to camp in the, um, like in the corridor, like right next to the road, like we did during the first road walk. So we got to um, the intersection of 112 and 385, which I believe are both county roads, if I remember correctly. And um, there's a, a landowner here that said we can camp here. Um, we got out of town at, uh, I think it was quarter after eight, um, and then hiking 23 to 25 miles takes a while. And um, so we got to camp. Uh, I think it was like around eight o'clock. Uh, I could be a little bit off, but uh, went to setting up the tent, making dinner, stretching, getting all that stuff finished. And um, so the, the last thing I'm doing actually is making this video and then I'm going right to bed. It was a, it was a good day. Um, the clouds came in about uh, halfway through the day and that helped on a road walk. Um, it was asphalt 100% of the way. I believe County Road 112 actually turns to gravel. Um, so tomorrow I think we're going to get a little bit of asphalt and then we'll get a gravel road, which will help a little bit on uh, the road hike, um, or road walk, I guess. So it was, um, it wasn't bad. We're expecting, you know, three days from Cuba to Chama. So our bags are not heavily loaded with food, um, but we do have to carry a bit of water. So today was nice where we had water halfway and water towards the end. Um, Tomorrow's a little bit of a different story. Uh, you know, if some residents help us, that's great. But otherwise, from where we're camping to the next water source is, uh, I think, 20. I have to do some math here. Uh, it's probably going to be around 21 to 23 miles, depending on how much we hike today. Um, we're expecting to do about 25, 25, and 25. Um, I think it's 75 to between Cuba and Chama. Um, so that's how we're gonna break it out. Um, but I think the math might be a little bit less than 75. Um, it's a little bit fuzzy when you're trying to create your own maps um, using different pieces of software. So uh, tomorrow will be a long walk. We'll have to carry a bit of water and um, you know, if we run into somebody who offers us water or assistance, like one of the residents here, you know, that's great. But otherwise, we're we're lugging our water all day, so that that'll be a heavy lift. Um, I think I think that's about it for this video. Um, I'm I'm a bit tired. I'm sure I look tired, and uh, I hope that 
I sleep well tonight um, so I can get a good good day in tomorrow. Uh, I hope everyone at home is doing well. Uh, as always, thanks for you know tuning into the videos. I'll get these uploaded as soon as I get to Chama. I'll probably be taking an extra zero a day in Chama just to get my gear shaken out and ready for the snow in Colorado. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think today's shout out is um, I know I've given shout outs to a couple of, uh, excuse me, a couple of times to like Trail Angels. Um, today, these, these folks um, that kind of offered help, not kind of, they offered help. Um, they normally don't see CDT hikers. Like we're only taking this route because they closed the National Forest. So the Re uh, Regina Mercantile Store, um, the resident where we're camping tonight, um, the few people that stopped on the road that asked us like, hey, do you need water or anything? Um, even like as we were coming to the camp spot, there was a gentleman who, you know, asked us, hey, are you CDT hikers? And when we said, yeah, he said, um, hey, my property's right over there. If you need to camp uh, or if you need anything, then let us know. So um, these folks are normally not trail angels. They normally don't see CDT hikers and um, they're reaching out to help. And that's the only way that we're able to um, make this road walk work because when you got fence on either side of the road, or if you got a long stretch like tomorrow, where you have like 23 mi 21 to 23 miles without water, um, you know, everyday residents that are offering help because they understand that CDT hikers are coming through on a path they normally don't come through. Um, you know, it's 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 really huge. So shout out to uh, everyday people who are helping CDT hikers um, get around the national forest closure. Um, like I said, we couldn't do it without those folks. So everyone have a great evening. Um, uh, I will, uh, man, I'm tired. Everyone have a great evening. I'll get these videos posted as soon as I get to Chama. And um, there'll be a couple more uh, hikes, excuse me, walks on the road over the next two days and then we'll be in Chama. So um, we'll be getting there actually still in May. So I think my original plan was to get into Colorado uh, the second week of June and have a couple of rest days in Chama before jumping into Colorado. Um, so we're running quite a bit early, um, uh, probably about a week at this point because we're missing a lot of miles, um, not hiking the CDT proper. So uh, I'll figure that stuff out. I'll give you the folks the lowdown once I get to Chama and what my next steps are. Um, and then uh, and we'll go from there. So. Again, good night. Hope everyone's safe, and uh, I'll talk to you later.